This painting shows clear influences from Eastern and Western styles to depict the Singaporean subject matter. The compositional structure in this painting is influenced by Chinese ink paintings. The horizon line is close to the top of the painting, a common placement in Chinese Shan Shui paintings. The high horizon line gives the bird's eye view effect, as though the viewers are viewing the scene from a high vantage point. This perspective gives viewers a glimpse of what the world looks like from the heavens, and shows nature dominating the scene, where humans play a secondary role. This could also be why the human figures in Liu Kang's works are small, stylized and anonymous, drawing attention to the environment rather than each unique individual. This is different from Western paintings where the horizon line is always in the middle or towards the bottom of the painting and contain human figures painted naturalistically, each with unique identities, placing humans as a primary role in the scene. Liu Kang also adopted the asymmetrical balance that Chinese ink paintings utilize to create dynamic movement within the painting attuned to the philosophical idea of yin and yang in a state of flux. The brushwork used in this painting is also influenced by the Chinese ink brushwork. The technique is CIE, CI is to write, and E is the meaning. Thus, CIE is the act of writing the meaning or essence of the subject matter. The CIE style is very calligraphic and epitomizes the spontaneity of the line. Hence, the shapes of the subject matter is generalized in order to allow for the artist's expressive and emotional qualities to be seen. This allows for rich brushwork and ink techniques to be displayed, charged with the artist's emotions. This is clearly seen in the way Lu Kong painted his human figures and trees. Each figure is outlined with expressive and curvilinear brushwork, capturing the essence of the villagers' energy and vitality, without painting them in detail. This masterful adaptation of the Chinese ink brush technique with the Western oil paint reflects Liu Kang's desire to merge Eastern and Western styles to depict Southeast Asian subject matter. Despite the strong Eastern influences in this painting, there are evident Western influences too. For example, the Fauvist influence is seen in the use of stylized figures, flat application of paint and lyrical outlines. The classical Renaissance influence is seen in the use of the triangular composition and the linear perspective formed by the bridge and the river to depict space and create stability within the painting. In addition, the influence of Paul Gauguin, a post-impressionist painter, is also seen in the use of the vivid colors aimed to capture the tropical scene and the clear sense of two-dimensionality of the picture surface resulted from the lack of overlapping and the lack of blending of tones to depict volume. Which painting do you think has more Eastern influences than Western influences? Life by the River, or Artist and Model?